my god, what a nerve-wracking 90 minutes I have just had to experience. Hello guys, how are you getting on? My name is Aaron Kelly and Chelsea are through to the Champions League final for the first time since 2012. Our third Champions League final overall. We will face Manchester City in Istanbul on the 29th of May. Oh my god, hang on, what am I doing? Why are these lights, yeah, flickering all different colours? Blue is the colour on the lights tonight, lads. That's, that's purple, hang on. Is that blue? I'm not sure if that's blue, is that? Okay, that's blue. Yes! Chelsea 2, Real Madrid 0 in the Champions League semi-final, second leg at Stamford Bridge, lads. Oh my days. Thomas Tuchel did make a couple of changes from the side that beat Fulham the weekend. Kai Havertz got a reward for scoring twice at the weekend and getting us a very important three points at Fulham. And once again, it looked like Real Madrid were playing with that five at the back, except with Vinicius Jr. playing as a wing-back. Furlong Mendy was also back in the side for them, and Eden Hazard started back at Stamford Bridge once again. And honestly there was definitely a key difference at the start of the game between this week and last week. Chelsea didn't press Real as high right from the start but we certainly had chances in that first half but first of all I gotta say Edouard Mendy I have to say kept Chelsea in this game in the first half because he made some absolutely terrific saves two in particular from Karim Benzema one is a good strike from outside the box which is going to nestle in the bottom corner Mendy makes an unbelievable save the second is a header which is unbelievable from Benzema and maybe he could have caught it but I thought it was going to loop in over him but he parries it over the bar <laughs> <laughs> someone's Someone's playing the tunes, lads. But yeah, Mendy made two absolutely unbelievable saves. But Chelsea did take the lead in the first half. And of all the players, Timo Werner got the goal to give Chelsea... Oh. <laughs> who is that? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's madness from beyond. Copyright claim incoming, but who cares? Yeah, Timo Werner got the goal, lads, and I have to say, he got a goal just before that that was ruled out for offside. He was so unlucky with the first one. <laughs> you know, This one is a little give and go between uh, Kante and Werner, who holds off uh, Ramos really well. Kante plays it into Havertz, he tries to dink it over uh, Thibaut Courtois, hits the bar, falls to Timo Werner, and honestly, it was like it was going in slow motion. It was like something from a movie, the way that ball was just dropping for Timo Werner. Like, three yards out, open goal, taps it in, and avenges the, the demons from uh, last week's horrific miss uh, in Madrid. And that was how it was at half time. There was a couple more chances, for, like, half chances for Real Madrid here and there, but that was uh, the score at half time. And the second half is really where Chelsea kicked on in this game. We were absolutely electrifying in that second half. And my only complaint from tonight is that how have we not won this game 5 or 6 nil? Like, uh, genuinely, the amount of clear cut chances we created absolutely unbelievable and what's even more unbelievable is that Werner didn't miss any of them chances. Mason Mount with I think well, what was the first one played in one on one absolutely smashes it into the Matthew Harding end. Kai Havertz then has a really good chance as well. N'Golo Kante a couple of minutes later has a chance not as, as easy a chance it was some good work from Werner in the build up but just so many opportunities and then we made the change Bringing on Christian Pulisic and it was a very much inspired change. He was incredible to bring on that late on with the fresh legs when Real Madrid were really, really tiring. He was running rings around Nacho Fernandez, and the second goal came with only a few minutes to go. Christian Pulisic was played in after again N'Golo Kante making an absolutely unbelievable interception in the middle of the park for Chelsea. He plays it into Pulisic, bides his time, smashes it across, and there is Mason Mount to tap in Chelsea's second, a testament to what I I think he's got to be Chelsea's player of the season, Mason Mount. He's been absolutely unbelievable. Despite his bad, bad miss tonight, he was unbelievable once again. Tapped it in to make it 2-0 to Chelsea. And it's a scoreline, really, that really didn't flatter us. And if I'm looking at it, at the start of the game, I would not have been saying to myself, look, if we get out with a 2-0 victory, you know, I feel like we're hard done by and we should have scored more. I wouldn't have been saying that, but I am because of the chances we missed. But do you know what? It doesn't matter a shit. It doesn't matter a shit because Chelsea are in the final to face Manchester City in Istanbul. I, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Let's go through all the team, right, and give them the praise they deserve. Edouard Mendy makes two unbelievable saves from Benzema in the first half to keep Chelsea in the game. Aspilicueta was absolutely brilliant. Andre Andreas Christensen, 
wonderful, wonderful performance. Kept Eden Hazard quiet. And you know what? It was a challenge right at the start of the game that let Eden Hazard know that he was in for a fucking game on his return to Stamford Bridge and we weren't just fucking pissing around because you're Eden Hazard. Comes in and absolutely, it was an awful tackle. Should have been a yellow card for Christensen if we're being honest. Comes right down the back of Hazard's calf. But it was really very much let him know you're there early on. Every time there was a pass, I'm getting text left, right and centre here. Every time there was a pass played into Hazard's feet, Christensen was in there ready to fucking hit him if he had to. Thiago Silva, a testament to what an unbelievable signing he has been since he's come in. An unbelievable leader to have in the middle of that back three. Antonio fucking Rudiger. I thought this guy was done. I thought he was done. He was in the bin. I genuinely said at times that I never wanted to see him play for Chelsea again. Well, has he proved me wrong? Absolutely. I the Biggest slice of humble pie you can probably think of. He was unbelievable again tonight. His pace, his running with the ball into the middle of the pitch, his interceptions, his covering in behind Thiago Silva in the one or two times that he was actually caught out of position. Chilwell was really, really good going forward. Had a little bit of a tough time with Vinicius Jr. at times, but, I mean, wouldn't most people. N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante! This is my guy! He's my guy! Jorginho! Oh, another one, a sl slice of humble pie. When Jorginho first came into Chelsea Football Club, he was replacing Cesc Fabregas, and for me, I felt like he wasn't the right man. I didn't really see what he br brings to this Chelsea team. I thought he was just Sarri's boy, but he was excellent again tonight in the middle of the park. Covered for Thiago Silva on one occasion when uh, Benzema nearly got in. Mason Mount runs, 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 and runs, and hits, and just puts his absolute heart and soul into everything he does every time he steps out on that football put pitch for Chelsea Football Club. He loves this club and you can fucking tell how much it meant to him when he got that goal. He's had to really bide his time. He's been on loan at Derby County. He's been on loan at Vitesse Arnhem. But he's come back and he is an instrumental part of this Chelsea team. Kai Havertz. What a performance. Honestly, a coming-of-age performance from Kai Havertz. Was running rings around Sergio Ramos all day. He didn't know how to deal with him. And Nacho Fernandez didn't know how to deal with him. Ended up fucking hitting him right at the end there because of just the frustration he was pulling under trying to mark Kai Havertz. And Timo Werner. We chat absolute shit about him sometimes uh, on the internet. He comes in for an awful amount of stick. But you know what? It just goes to show if you keep running and you keep trying, you will get your chance. And it just came to on an absolute plate that even he, with the chances he's missed recently, couldn't miss that. Pulisic, excellent when he came on as well. Oh my god, man, I, I, I'm so happy. I'm st this Chelsea team, Thomas Tuchel, what, what an incredible job this man has done. Like, If he goes on to win the Champions League, it, it would be an unbelievable achievement. The fact that we've got to this point to the Champions League final is an unbelievable achievement. And there is huge potential now for Chelsea between now and the end of the season. We're in a Champions League final. We're in the FA Cup final. We're in the box seat, you'd have to say, for the Premier League top four race. We've got a very tough run in, but you know, you'd still fancy us to get there. I know West Ham have a very easy run in compared to us, but um, wow, this has the potential to be an incredible end. To be in May and to be in two finals and to be still competing in three big competitions, it's just hats off, hats off. Seriously, unbelievable. <sighs> Okay, so after all that, we face Manchester City um, on the 29th of this month, um, and I, I genuinely, we, we, we can relax until then, but it's going to be stressful, it's going to be a massive night no matter what happens. <sighs> wow, I, I'm, I'm lost for words. I'm genuinely lost for words. The, the, the way this season looked like it was going. At, at, at the beginning of like January, or end of January, when you had Frank Lampard struggling with this team, we were down in ninth. We had just drawn Atletico Madrid in the last 16 of this competition. It looked like this season was going absolutely nowhere. Um, but who knows, we might... It may, it may just, the potential is there for it to end in the most special way possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah. Come on you blues. Who have we got the weekend? Oh, Man City. Brilliant. Excellent. Chat to you next time lads. I've been trying to find a way